this, I suppose, is a brilliant event for Riven because it gathers together so many of your service provider community. It really does. It, not just the service providers, but even the ecosystem partners that we work with as well. Some of the folks that have helped us develop new and interesting offers for the marketplace. I just ran into Dean Missouri, who was former with Mastergy. We were very close with him to create a visual IVR that we offer on our Candy uh, CPAS portal. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really wonderful kind of intimate group of folks really uh, talking about best practices in the industry. It's a great place to be. And I was looking through the itinerary in the, in the brochure for the CloudCom Summit and everywhere I looked there was a ribbon representative because you've got your, there's so many different aspects to the business, we, yep. there's CPaaS, there's the networking side, there's, there's so many different areas that, that you're involved in so that you can really share some good knowledge here about, about what's going on. It really is exciting. I mean, one of the things that is important to me is that uh, a lot of people have made various purchase decisions as your carrier uh, for their UCAS solution or potentially the endpoints that they use or even a specific client that they want. I've got such a broad portfolio, I can add value and real value to, to anybody who's already made purchase decisions. So, and we're perfectly happy to have a very modular kind of approach uh, to be able to provide just what they need when they need it uh, for any kind of uh, any kind of service provider or even ISV. So we are working more and more with um, our other kind of system integration partners as well. And I suppose that's a, that's a gain. It's a real advantage. You can work in a particular area with a partner, whether that's with SD WAN, whether that's with ISV, and then that potentially leads to follow up business in other areas after after a good experience. Very much so. We're working on a very large retail opportunity right now. Uh, and having acquired Edgewater last year, we've actually architected the, uh, the solution. So it's, we're actually providing SIP trunks through our CPAS portal, uh, through a resale arrangement, and we're providing Edgemark devices on the edge of the, uh, edge of the network. Uh, and then we're, of course, providing the UC seats behind that. But Edgemark has a very strong analytics pack called Edgeview Analytics. We're actually going to be monitoring those, uh, those Edgeview uh, devices from our uh, ne managed network operations center in Prague. So we're taking the piece parts that we've had with Ribbon, with the acquisitions that we've made, to have a broader portfolio. It what can be a more end-to-end -end solution, but again, I want to emphasize, we're very respectful of partners that have made other decisions in terms of components that they want to use. We're happy to, uh, to interoperate with as many ecosystem partners as possible. And what's new for Ribbon since the last time I spoke to you, that was earlier on this year? What, what's, the, what's the main headlines been from your perspective? Well, top of mind for me is I'm going to be in Mexico City next week. Uh, we've got a number of ecosystem partners there. I'm going to be talking about our CPaaS opportunities. So we have a fair number of UCAS um, customers, uh, but we find that the modular kind of offerings that we've got, whether it's a visual attendant, whether it's a live support, what we call candy wrappers, a very easy way to kind of bridge that telecom and web-centric kind of service and provide real value to a, to a, to a service provider who's providing unified communication. So uh, we're actually talking to um, some service providers that are providing UCAS for, uh, from another vendor to say, look, if you want to go into your customer and say, you know, if your call center experience is not very immersive, you've got a different call center vendor, but you want to be able to web enable your call center and be able to take those calls that are coming into the queue and have a visual, a, a much richer environment, whether it's doing screen share, uh, whether video collaboration, we can provide just that component. Uh, so it makes that relationship that is very strong for a lot of service providers with their enterprise customers that much stronger, that much stickier. Uh, so the week after Mexico City, I'll be in Dubai. Uh, Etisalat is one of our important customers. I think I mentioned to you before that they are white labeling our uh, candy platform and providing a service to uh, UCAS uh, as well as CPaaS services to their enterprise customers throughout the UAE. It's been interesting. You were talking about CPaaS and we've heard so much here and you echoed it there in terms of the real transition that service providers are looking at about providing communication functionality within inline business processes right. as a direct function and that must be incredibly encouraging from a ribbon perspective. Absolutely, it's, it's really our sweet spot and I think we probably have the longest development cycle for WebRTC technologies of anybody. Uh, not only are we talking to service providers, we're talking to some of the end users on their behalf, some of the largest financial institutions in the world about creating very specific embedded communications inside of their workflows which again, it's a lot of jargon, uh, but what that really means is if you're a large bank and you've got home loan associates, you've got specialists in home loans that you have, they're centralized or they're working out of their home and you've got branch offices throughout the, throughout the US and throughout Canada, you can essentially create 
a, an opportunity from a web tablet uh, WebRTC enabled client to be able to reach those subject matter experts wherever they are and make sure that you capture that business for somebody who's looking for a home loan at one, but maybe thousands of branch offices with 10 people who are subject matter experts. So it's the real business applications, real value add, real change to the bottom line and differentiated services for these large enterprises. And you mentioned WebRTC, that's a technology that we've heard a lot about at this event and Ruben, you were pretty early adopters of that so that that's really paid off now hasn't it it's uh it was a bet that we made early i'm very happy that we did because it really um, you know again our strength is that we've worked with the nortel heritage that we've got uh, merging with sonus right we've got tons of experience user experience in patents in real-time communications overall but bridging the web-centric world uh, getting a, a piece of that IT budget, not just the voice telecoms budget, has really, I think, given us a big differentiation in the marketplace.